Hi, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to explain to you how to go about excluding categories as well as excluding posts from your main page as well as your next and previous navigation. Uh, so let's get started here. I'm going to use uh, one of my test sites here that I host at inmotionhosting.com um, so if you're familiar with other um, tutorials. I use this site from time to time just to conduct uh, certain tests that I find and in today's tutorial we'll do just that using a simple WordPress site that I have hosted using InMotion hosting. Um, so let's get started here. So one of the things that um, if, if and when you have a blog that has multiple types of categories or a variety of categories one of the things that you may run into is that as you read your post um, there's this ability to go from one post to the next post or have a listing of posting so like for instance on uh, my test site here I have a list of postings and as you can see you can see the most recent postings here on the right um, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that I have different de uh, different categories. So I have a deals category, a human resources, marketing, sales, technology. And each one of these articles, let's just say your website, uh, you have a tech article. Um, and so it specifically targets a tech audience or a tech reader. Uh, a tech reader is typically not going to want to learn about human resources, not unless it has something to do with technology. Uh, that being said, um, what tends to happen in most vanilla WordPress setups is that you get, if you place your homepage as the latest postings list, this is what happens. You get a variety of all of your posts um, that are shown to you or displayed to the reader community in descending order uh, from post date and so you can see you have tech post sales post and then you get to the bottom and there's pagination well you go to the next one there's human resource so everything is just kinda bumbled and jumbled together um, and so one of the things that I want to show you, for instance, here, uh, and we'll work with the deal site, is how do you not show um, a certain category when you're listing all of your other blog posts from a, uh, a website? So I want to show you how to quickly uh, remedy this with a simple plugin. And I'm going to log in here to WordPress. Hopefully I can remember my password. And we're going to use a plugin. And so go to your plugins there on the left hand side. Go to Add New. And the plugin, I believe, is called Ultimate Category Excluder. And so we'll type in Ultimate Category. See what pops up. And there it is Ultimate Category Excluder. Go ahead and install. Once it's installed, you can click the Activate plugin and then once you go to settings there is a new uh, option in the menu called category exclusion if you go there to category exclusion now it will list all of your categories and it gives you several different options that you can exclude from you can exclude from the main page you can exclude from feed so if you're using an RSS feed uh, to email um, your users each time or your readers each time you make a new post you can exclude it from the feed you can also exclude it from the archives uh, feed as well as search in this instance I tend to use this feature I want to exclude it from a few areas one being the main page just because let's say with the deals website you could typically if you're doing an hour on the hour type of uh, setup you could end up with um, just a long list, what, 24, if you do hour on the hour, um, 23 or 24 different deals post with all of your other content in between that. Um, and so if it's time sensitive, as if a deal ends within an hour, once that deal passes, you really don't need to know about it. So you don't really need to see it. So that being said, I'm going to check to exclude from main page and I want to also check to exclude from search. Reason being is because a lot of times if people are coming to your website, let's go back to the tech example, 
If they're searching for technical articles, they really shouldn't see the deals site that has passed and is no longer um, present. So what I tend to do is just typically, since I know that users are going to search my site, I exclude uh, that category deals um, since it's time sensitive from search. So we'll check those boxes for main page and exclude from search update. And then when you go back and you refresh page two, there are no more deals. Deals cannot be found through the main page listing of your blogs. Now, deals can still, you can still find deals, but you'll have to go to the deals category and it will list all of the deals. Um, even if you try to search for deals, it'll tell you nothing is found for deals. Uh, and so that's just an easy way to remedy a situation to where um, if you're searching for deals, then you won't be able to find them because they've been excluded. Now, that being said, there is one gotcha here. So if you look at your recent post, and even if you go from the main page to a post, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, then you'll see it'll have uh, the previous um, post there. And so if you keep going through all of the, the previous post, sorry about that, we'll keep going tech four posts, tech three, sales, human resources there's your deals posting. So if you think about reading an article, if I read an article about human resource, there's two things that, that come up. Number one is I don't really care about a deals post that's already passed. Number two is I'm in human resources. Why do I even care about seeing about a sales post? Um, I shouldn't see that. So let's talk about how you go about modifying the next and the previous links to only show for a specific category. So if I'm reading a human resources post, I want to make sure that the next and previous posts that are listed here are about human resources. So to do that, we jump back into the admin section and you're going to go to appearance and you want to go to editor. Now, quick quick note here about the editor. If you don't have the editor option, there are a few things that you can do. You'll likely want to go and run a quick search for uh, appearance or WordPress appearance editor missing and try to remedy that. In most cases, um, it's either because you have a plugin that's blocking the editor from being shown or a permissions issue, meaning that uh, you may have to use your cPanel or FTP to correct the permissions issue and set it instead of 644, set it to 755. And then the other is that there may be something in the WordPress or wp-config.php file called disable um, editor, and it may be set to true. You'll need to set that to false. So out of those three options, you will need to try to figure out um, if one of those are set and basically disabling your editor option. Uh, my editor is available, so once you get your editor available, here on the left-hand side, you're going to look, I mean the right-hand side, you're going to look for what's called a single post. Click that post, and within this code, don't get scared on me here, within the code, you're going to look for is a uh, singular post, or just look for what's called the previous next post navigation. I'm using the 2016 theme, and most themes are... Um, going to use either the uh, po previous slash next post navigation. Um, and if so, then you're likely going to run across this function called the underscore post underscore navigation function. That being said, what we're going to do is add a few uh, bits of code here to it. I'm going to bring that code up. And essentially what we're going to add in, we want it to always show the next and previous for the same term, which 
I have n underscore same underscore term set to true. If that were false, then it would not show you the next um, post that's in the same uh, term or taxonomy. Next up is taxonomy. And here what you can do is go through um, a variety of things. You can actually set this to post format, um, tags, uh, what else, category is by default. And then the last item, the screen reader text, I just set to continue reading. Um, you can set that to whatever you want. You can read more, learn more, whatever your liking is. So we're going to copy that code. And just real quick here on the taxonomies, if you go over to the WordPress.org uh, site, you can see the taxonomies. Um, and so if you just type in WP uh, taxonomies into a Google search, it should take you uh, to this page. Or you can see the the uh, link up there, codex.wordpress.org slash taxonomies. And you can come here and learn about taxonomies and how important they are in terms of setting your categories, your tags, link categories, and even post format types. It also provides you with a couple examples of how to work with taxonomies. Um, and it'll tell you exactly what you need to hard code. So if we wanted to do link category, instead of putting uh, category, we would put link underscore category. So learn more there. Uh, nevertheless, what we're going to do is come here and you have the post navigation function. Within there, you have an array. So you have two open parentheses that are there. If you look here, we have two closed parentheses. I only know this only because of my many years of experience in web development. And what you're going to want to do is place your um, cursor there at the very end of this and right there behind that comma hit enter and paste and once you paste that in click update and now we're ready to go back and so this is a human resources post there you see deals and there you see sales so when I refresh because we set it to only show uh, within the same category, we shouldn't see these two as previous and next. Voila, it disappears. And that only disappears because I think I only have one uh, human resources post. But if I were to go to a tech post, now you can see it's only showing your tech post four uh, and then tech post six. So even if I go to tech post six, it's only going to show tech post. And so that being said, um, you can go to sales and it's only going to show your sales. And so this keeps your readers engaged and in tune to your site. And so instead of the reader coming to read one article, look down at the next and previous and go, well, what do these articles have to do with me? Exit your website and go somewhere else. Keep them on your website by limiting the categories um, for the previous and next or rather limit the previous and next to a category so that being said i hope that this tutorial has helped you out greatly um, like i said if you have things that are time sensitive and you don't want to uh, jumble up your latest blog listings whether it's your home page or whether you have a specific blog page that just lists all of your posts. Um, if you have posts that are in there that are kind of like the deals that once they expire, they expire and move on, then you may want to use the Ultimate Excluder plugin. And once again, if you want to try to increase the stickiness of your website and limit your next and previous post um, options here to a category and keep people and readers engaged to your website, then I recommend um, using or making the simple code edit to the single um, .php page where you're going to go in and, and ultimately edit the theme and add in setting the same term to true, your taxonomy to category or tag or whatever. Um, use this code to do that. And like I said, I hope that this tutorial has helped you out. If you have questions, please don't hesitate 
to contact me. I know that you may be using a customized theme, and so your, your functions may be a tad bit different. Uh, no worries. Feel free to drop me a question below. I'll get it answered. Also, visit kickstartcommerce.com. And then last but not least, make sure that you sign up below or subscribe below to my YouTube channel. And that's it. And I look forward to seeing you around. Thanks for listening.